Hi, it's Noel Williams, Optimal Health Associates. It's February 23rd, 2020. I'm gonna give my third review of coronavirus or COVID-19. The original discussion I did back on the 9th of February and then did a follow-up on the 16th. So I would encourage you to watch those first two to keep up because I'm, I give more background in the first one in particular about the virus and this is just an update. So I wanna be positive. It's a little hard to be positive right now about COVID-19. I'm pretty concerned. Last week we had about 70,000 cases. Now we have 80,000. Uh, last week we had about 750 to 780 cases in the world. Outside of China now we have uh, about 2,000. So the virus is spreading as, I don't wanna say as I predicted, but as I, theorize was going to happen based on all the research and reading I'm doing and that seems to be developing as expected. Uh, the health authorities can continue to wax and wane a little bit on uh, is it going to get to the United States. I think the general trend from the CDC it absolutely is. Uh, some of the other governmental agencies have been a little, a little bit slower to get on board because they don't want to be honest about it. So anyway, being that as it may, the coronavirus is going to get here. It's just a matter of when. So what do we need to do about it? Well, the first thing is zinc. Zinc's our friend, 50 milligrams a day, zinc gluconate. Number two, I have never recommended masks um, wearing them. Uh, I think you need to start wearing them if you're traveling. Airplanes in particular are the way the circulation works. If someone has the virus on a plane, you're at high risk for getting it. So masks with charcoal filters are something to really think about getting. Uh, it's called an N95 mask and you have separate charcoal filters you can put in. That's gonna be pretty blocking for viral transmission. And if you combine that with zinc, I think you're gonna be in good shape. The other thing to keep in mind too is, and I'm gonna quote my friend Bill Bondurant, who's a great primary care doctor in Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, zinc has long been established from a topical basis to be protective from viruses. So I think doing a zinc uh, drops uh, nasally or a zinc, um, some type of uh, oral and sucking on a tablet or as you're traveling or before you travel to get your zinc levels in your mucosal membranes in your oral and nasal pharynx elevated is going to be protective and those are all things we need to think about in addition a really potent multivitamin we carry one called mita strength or mita core um, is fantastic because you want to get your white blood cell count up over the next few weeks we're going to continue to watch the coronavirus I believe it's going to get worse and worse. We went from zero cases a week ago in Iran to 148, um, roughly. We went from zero, oh, that's Italy, sorry. Zero cases in Italy to 148 now. In Iran, it's from zero cases to 50. In Korea, we're up to about 800 cases from just a couple last week. Um, the death rate still remain somewhere in the range of two and a half to three percent. That may change over time too. Um, I'm not thinking it's gonna get lower of uh, symptomatic people. It's probably gonna get higher because as different systems don't have the healthcare support available, uh, some of the people who get really sick that are saved now are not gonna be able to be saved. So the summary on coronavirus is as follows. The pandemic projections are starting to follow what's been predicted, which also means it's gonna to come to the United States, unfortunately, and the rest of the world. Two, we need to do something to prevent the onset of disease, and hope isn't an effective tool. It's probably doing zinc, um, starting a strong multivitamin, and really thinking about if you're traveling wearing a mask to protect yourself. I don't think we have to wear masks in the United States on our daily activities yet, but that's something that may be coming and to keep in the back of your mind. I'll update you next week on anything else that's occurred. Uh, we just have to stay positive and hope for the best. Um, and that's all from tonight on February 23rd, 2020.